Russia's so-called presidential elections started on March 15th without the presence of EU observers. The legitimacy of the presidential elections in the occupied territories of Ukraine was not recognized by the heads of parliamentary committees for foreign affairs in 23 countries on March 14th, and they condemned their holding. Russia does not have any competition policy and elections. Therefore, it is impossible to influence what does not exist. That is, people can come to polling stations and may not come. This is not a polling station. It makes no sense in totalitarian verticals to say that one can somehow influence a process that does not exist. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, live during the telethon. The Russian Ministry of Defense allowed the military participating in the so-called special military operation to vote for Putin without even registering at the polling station. This will allow the election commissions to falsify the election results and use the so-called dead souls, as reported by the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine. Today, Russians are blaming NATO countries, the United States, Ukraine, biolaboratories, whatever. Until a revolution begins in Russia and a large-scale transformation of the bloody type begins. After that, they will realize and blame Putin for everything. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, live during the telethon. On March 14th, the Freedom of Russia Legion stated that they will be conducting decisive operations against military facilities in Kursk and Belgorod during the second phase of the liberation operation, as they claim, on the territory of the Russian Federation. This is all timed to the so-called elections, which will begin tomorrow, regarding Vladimir Putin's usurpation of power once again. And we, as not indifferent citizens of Russia, decided in this way to express our political will, our attitude to these elections, to the regime of Vladimir Putin. Alexei Baranovsky, volunteer of Legion Freedom of Russia, live during the telethon. On March 15th morning, Belgorod witnessed explosions and a missile threat was issued. According to the RIA Novosti Russian State News Agency, voting was conducted at polling stations on the first day of the election for the President of the Russian Federation. Later, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation stated that the air defense forces shot down seven vampire ignition systems and accused Ukraine of stubbornness. Reported by Sofia Hrich, Pavlo Stelmach, Diana Ovchar, UATV News.